got a good one, y'all. If you are lucky enough to still have a mother and you want to give her a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day breakfast in bed, this is my precious niece, Kari. This is um, her granola waffles and buttered pecan syrup. So I, I'm telling you, that girl knows she loves to eat and she knows good food. Uh, she said, I'm surprised at how many people are out there that don't know what good food tastes like. <laughs> Cause they're eating from quick places, pickup places. But anyway, I'm gonna start um, with the syrup, making the syrup. And I'm gonna put two tablespoons, um, that looked a little shy, two tablespoons. Maybe I, uh, Maybe I need to do. Oh, you know what? You know what? I forgot. We the measurements that I'm gonna be giving y'all is for a full um, batch of waffles. But because there's nobody here to eat them but me and me, <laughs> we just gonna I'm just gonna mix up a half a batch. So that butter is perfect. All right, and I'm gonna add. Um, like I said, everything I'm doing, you're going to double. So you need one cup of chopped pecans. And now we're just going to toss those around in our butter to, till they become fragrant. You know, we certainly don't want to burn them. So we'll just stand up here and make sure they stay stirred up and not get overcooked or overbrowned. It's nothing like a toasted pecan. Oh, is it, it like on a cinnamon roll? Yeah. On a cinnamon roll. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Good gobbledygook. All right, so that will take about three minutes. And then we're gonna add maple syrup and you would need one cup of maple syrup. You will need one teaspoon of salt divided. So I'm gonna go ahead and add what little bit of salt this part gets. we're gonna need now is the syrup. And you would need uh, one cup. And I am only using a half cup. I don't wanna confuse y'all, so. How good does that sound? And good maple syrup is very, very pricey. And I can understand, I had an opportunity when I was, um, that first year I was on TV and I was shooting my shows up north. I had an opportunity to go um, and pull sap from the trees. I can understand why maple syrup is so expensive. Okay, so two to three minutes. We want that, um, we want that maple syrup to really, really grab hold of those pecans to get that nutty, nutty flavor. I think I'm just gonna pour it back in here. Eddie, Eddie found me a pretty little syrup pitcher. But I think this will be the safest for me to handle seeing I just 
got one real good eye. So look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Yummy. Now we're going to put our our batter together for our waffles and uh, this is what you'll need for your waffles. Two cups of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, three eggs, two cups of buttermilk, and one cup of your favorite granola. So, we have our flour. And I'll just use our little whisk to just kind of break that up. And then I'm gonna come over here and uh, beat up my eggs a little bit. Teresa, I don't see the buttermilk. Oh, I guess I forgot to give that to you. Unless it's somewhere I don't know about. No, it's not in the refrigerator where it should be. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then we got our salt. See what happens with these little things? That's exactly the same size that I dropped when I was just over. Mm. Those little glass things are hard to hold on to. And the smaller they are, the harder it is to hold on to. We've got our baking uh, powder, our baking soda, and our three tablespoons of sugar. gonna whisk that together. I could have gotten a little bigger bowl, y'all. <laughs> but I didn't. Okay. There is our two eggs. And you don't want to over mix this. You know, it's okay if it's a little lumpy. and you'll need two cups of buttermilk. And I've got my waffle machine over here heating up and I'm gonna get, give it a little spray. Got everything in there. Going back to use my handy dandy whisk. And I'm going to add my melted butter. I made that hard for me using that little tiny one cup bowl. <laughs> Sometimes I'm frugal when I should not be frugal. <laughs> so now I'm going to um, 
gonna spray our waffle iron. And I do love this waffle iron because I can cook two waffles at one time. All right, let's see what our temperature is. It says ready. So I'm just gonna give it a spray. I'm making a mess here, aren't I, Eddie? I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not looking. <laughs> Good. And I'm real bad about putting too much batter in it. <laughs> I'm real bad. So let's see how. Oh, Gray Mare did. I think it's ready, Eddie. Uh, the story goes when it stops steaming, your waffle is ready. But to me, and look, I per, I purred, <laughs> I poured the perfect amount of batter on this waffle. Look at this. Look at that, Eddie. Have you ever seen anything so pretty? Have you? <laughs> no. You know, when we travel and we stay uh -huh. at a hotel uh -huh. that has waffles where you have to make it yourself, I always yeah. want to do it, but... You don't do it? Look at this, I don't do Teresa. It. I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. Oh, you know, how can you mess it up? You can't mess it up. Look, it's gorgeous. The folks that could mess it up was the ones putting the batter together. Well, that would be, oh, well, yeah. yeah. You know, so <laughs> just a little bit of butter. All right, now I'm going to do it just the way Kari does it. Put your favorite granola right there in the middle. I hope I put enough butter. Now, our syrup is still hot. You can't have any Teresa? Mm -hmm. We're almost there though. My syrup is still hot. So that is gorgeous. Mm. I'm fixing to swallow my tongue. No, help me not swallow my tongue. I'm gonna choke to death on it. Uh, I just hate that y'all are not here. So there's my granola and my nuts. Oh, and it's hot. And it's hot. These are so good. And you know, you can make the batter ahead of time and go ahead and cook them. And if you have four people, you can put them on a uh, baking sheet and put them in the oven and heat them right back up. Can you freeze them? Yes. Yes, you buy frozen waffles all the time at the grocery store, don't you? Yeah. Or you can. You probably don't, but... I don't think of it. Mmm. But what a great way to make your wheel, yes. your own, instead of... Yes. Uh-oh. 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 That butter on that waffle is incredible. I didn't think you put enough butter, but that's I didn't. I, I didn't, Teresa, but I was embarrassed. But since you said that, <laughs> since I have your approval. I'm as bad as you with butter. I want butter in every one of those little holes. Me too. And of course, the real way to go is uh, with melted butter. Mm -hmm. And fill it all up. So yes. All right, so let me take one more bite for y'all. So, you know, I do a lot for my job. I sacrifice a lot. Get back up here. I, I sacrifice.
sacrifice a lot mm-hmm. for my job. It knows you're telling a lie. <laughs> I is trying to run from me. <laughs> mm. The granola gives it a whole new, uh, whole new flavor and taste. You know, you don't expect your waffle to be crunchy crispy, or at least I don't. This is our son, Anthony. Y'all hear me talking about him? Precious young man. All right. This is Kari's, um, this is Kari's recipe for Kari's granola waffles with a butter pecan syrup. Get in there and get you some in the middle. Anthony, yeah, she's making those butter. for Mother's Day. This would be a great thing for you to cook, Ashley. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think you make them Father's Day, too. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this boy is his daddy over and over. He's got, oh, that's your fork, isn't it? He's got the keenest sense of humor. I think he's sharper than his father. (laughs) I don't. But that's just between you and me. Yeah. (laughs) That's the funny thing. Eat up some more, sonny boy. I have one more bite. See y'all later. y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.